Hello there everyone and welcome back. So we got another one of these uniform showcases where I showcase some of the uniforms that, that I've collected and uh, as you can probably tell by the title this is a British World War II uniform. We've got the battle dress trousers here, a uh, wool colorless shirt and the uh, white cotton uh, braces or suspenders which I have as the sort of the uh, as I want to show how it builds on with the different stuff um, I'm doing uh, uh, a few people have been asking for other stuff but I can always <laughs> I can only of course do the stuff I have and I'm doing the ones uh, that are a bit more complete than some of the others. The problem I have is of course that I do I have quite a lot of different ones and so I ha haven't really finished any of them but uh, the ones that I have shown are some of the more complete ones and uh, right now I'm putting on the battle dress jacket and uh, interesting stuff to say about this is probably the stuff I've got on my arms there the, uh, the infantry uh, shoulder titles which the British have quite a it's a bit of a complex system of uh, a number of different things um, and um, I think I'm actually missing uh, one that should be a, another patch as well which I'm actually mi missing but I think we all know the uh, the sergeant stripes or chevrons which you can see at the bottom but then the other two might be uh, I don't think you can actually read what it says on the top one but that's for the infantry regiment the Royal Norfolk and then the triangular the triangular thing uh, in between the sergeant stripes or chevrons and the, the regimental shoulder title is the infantry division uh, which is the third infantry division let's see if I'm going to go ahead and do a spin and there we go probably see more clearly so you can see the the regiment Royal Norfolk at the top then we got the um, the third infantry division and then the sergeant sergeant stripes now in between the sergeant stripes and the infantry division there's supposed to be I believe arms of service stripes detailing basically which part I'm a part of so say um, the artillery or reconnaissance and stuff like that and I haven't added that um, yeah uh, what can I say it's the 1940s uh, battle dress uh, jacket because it's quite easy to see because the buttons buttons are not covered which they are in the 1937 one is the earlier one I believe where the buttons basically the same but the buttons are covered so you won't s actually see the buttons um, anyways we've gone on to the webbing which I'm putting on right now and it consists of we've got the the belt the uh, the webbing belt which is the one that straps around my waist or, and here on the front we got two ammo pouches which you can carry ammo in uh, since I'm a sergeant and I carry a sten gun most likely I would have sten gun ammo in there but you can also I believe they also could carry Bren gun ammo so extra ammo for the Bren gun um, operator or gunner I'm not entirely sure what they're called um, so you could carry those in there as well and uh, then what else do I have we can see that I've got a bayonet there hanging on the side possibly um, which I've got a, a a a bayonet, one of those spike bayonets 
Um, I believe it was actually quite common for the sergeants actually not to always switch over to the Sten gun um, and just stick with the, the old rifle. Uh, there, there's a fly. Thank you. Ruining everything. Um, also I should say about the shoulder titles. Um, I put them on mostly because I don't reenact and so I'm more collect so I wanted to sort of have something there to not have it bare but most of the times um, you wouldn't have them for two reasons first of all it would uh, sort of uh, if you're actually going to a reenactment it's easy not to have them because you blend in with the rest of them and you d won't have one Royal Norfolk and one from there and one from there and um, and also the fact that they often were ordered to remove them because you don't want to give the Jerry's any more information than necessary. We could also see there that I have a revolver um, which is a canvas Webley pistol holster for a 45. Now the 38 was more common especially in England the 45 were more usual in places like Canada and Australia but I was able to uh, I think it was anniversary of something uh, where they made a limited amount of these which actually is an airsoft um, a gas powered one which I thought was very nice I picked that one up I'm not entirely sure if you can get a hold of 38 but um, I, I had trouble getting the um, actually getting the what's it called the holster for it I I finally found one on eBay in Australia so I bought it from there um, f at first I actually bought another one but it, uh, I probably didn't check correctly because I got one for a 38 and since the barrel of the 45 is a lot longer it didn't fit in the uh, in the holster so I've got a 38 holster just lying around which I have no use for and uh, and the back there if you're wondering what's hanging over my behind that's the entrenching tool so you got the sort of the uh, not entirely sure what to call it but like the the spade head and stuff you've got that in the little pouch and then the stick is what you actually put it on and here we go I've got my Sten gun soft air gun it doesn't work anymore um, the the sort of mechanics of it has broken down and I'm sort of using it just to sort of um, have a weapon with the the uniform. I also have a Thompson which we will see later on. Uh, let's see what else. What did I miss? We missed the little bag that I put on my back which is a small pack um, and you would carry a number of things in there. I think it actually is for uh, personal stuff so or uh, you carry personal stuff in there so no like ammo and it's sort of uh, out in the way on the back so uh, it wouldn't really be useful to carry ammo in it. Um, one thing that I will say is that uh, you can tell the difference sort of on the uh, the webbing stuff here I have and you can really tell the the fact that I haven't put Blanco as it's called on the uh, the holster of the uh, of the pistol so you can tell that in compared with the the other parts where I've actually put Blanco which is a it's sort of I think it's a clay or it's it, like you, you anyways it's supposed to protect um, the stuff uh, it sort of it's not very I didn't put it on very good and I did one one take of it uh, quite a while ago um, so it's a bit it looks a bit patchy probably should redo that pretty soon uh, I was there. There we go. That's the the 38 holster I've got. Completely useless for me. 
Uh, and we also saw me pick up a, uh, a, what's it called? A gas mask and a water bottle. Um, which I probably should be able to fit somewhere around on the webbing. I haven't set that up yet. The thing was I bought the webbing parts sort of one by one. But, um, oh yeah, a lot of people ask me where I get the stuff. Um, a lot of this, I think, were from... Um, huh, now I can't remember. Uh, I'll probably put it down in the links, but I bought them one by one. And I've, s I've just recently been on there and I've seen that they've actually got uh, sort of packages, which looks great and probably works a lot better than than the way I did it so that's probably re recommended to uh, to get all at once also I I have uh, done a similar thing with uh, the jacket and the pants where I um, bought them at separate occasions uh, sort of luckily for me I sort of bought them at the at uh, base, um, let's see. Yes, they were too large. I bought them in the too large um, size, so I switched them back. But since I bought them at different occasions, uh, they actually came in sort of different shades, uh, sh color shades. But in this one, you can actually see that uh, the shades are similar. Um, but I, I was able to change that out so I got a um, similar shade on everything because uh, in the other ones I had the I rem I think the pants were a lot darker than the rest of the uniform um, let's see how much time I have very little time I've rambled on a bit you if there's anything else you can ask in the questions I'll probably add some um, some uh, pictures in the end here just to uh, give a bit more uh, give a clear view of how it looks because I don't the camera is not very good so you'll probably see some pictures right about now uh, any questions put them down below there's probably some mistakes I made in in the uniform um, but you know, n not being part of a reenactment group you don't get that kind of feedback and that kind of knowledge of people who have done it a while. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.